Hi, welcome to a new how-to video for Boido's Tech Talk. Uh, specifically, this video is to show you how to replace uh, an internal battery for a uh, MacBook Pro 15-inch um, with the uh, model number of A1286. Now, there were a couple of versions of this. Um, there were some mid-2009 models and some mid-2010 models, so um, your internal configuration might be slightly different. Um, I know that um, certainly there are two models with um, the same model number and they take different batteries. So you might just um, want to check inside first um, for what type of battery before you order a replacement. But anyway, um, we'll get on with the video. So I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in a MacBook Pro now. Usually uh, Apple says uh, it's a non-user serviceable part, but you can do it yourself if you don't mind um, cracking it open. So what we need to do is uh, there are a number of screws around the outside. There's um, 10 in all. So I'll just undo those. So I've taken out all the screws. Um, what you may notice is that there are some screws that um, are long. And uh, some that are very tiny. Like that. Um, so you might just want to um, make a note of where you pull them out. Um, over here, I've just laid them out in kind of the same fashion that I took them out so I can put them back in, in the same spot. Anyway, now we can open up the bottom of the laptop and those are the insides. Now, what we're most interested in here is uh, this big black component down here. I'll just give you a close look. And um, we need to uh, there are a few screws um, around, and there's also no, there was another one there, but it's uh, no longer connected. Um, now these are uh, these do have five notches on them, so they're not your standard star screw. Don't know if I'm going to be able to get that close enough to focus to see. No. Um, so what you will need to do is um, use a flathead um, screwdriver and uh, work it into two of the uh, notches and then start turning carefully. Um, I say carefully because you don't want to, um, it's probably just a shade too big that one, uh, you don't want to destroy the threading such that one, you can't remove the battery, or two, you can't fasten the new battery in. Um, ideally, it would be good if um, we could um, have the exact screwdriver for the job, but um, yeah, that's perhaps Steve Jobs wanted it that way. But anyway, um, just carefully push it against the um, outside of the screw and it should come undone um, fairly easily. Now, don't uh, try not to use too much force because if you do, you may end up destroying the um, the notches on top and then you're kind of screwed unless you want to go for pliers or something else like that. Um, now, another thing to bear in mind is um, you are in proximity to some other um, bits of circuitry and chips here and your um, RAM as well. Um, so, again, don't use too much force such that you might um, have the screwdriver slip out of the top of the screw. You may end up damaging some of these other delicate bits and pieces. Um, so once you've done now, well, before I go any further, there is supposed to be another screw here under the sticker with that little warning sign there. 
make sure you get that as well. Um, but once you've done that, um, you should be able to lift the battery out. Now, there is a connector here that you will need to pull out. Like so. So it looks like that. And um, that's the battery pulled out. Now, of course, you need to have a replacement battery. So in Australia, um, I got a replacement battery from um, macfixit.com.au, M A C F I X I T dot com dot au and it's um same battery there. So what we need to do is um before we pop it back in we need to um refasten the um the cable So you might just want to get the bottom edge in first, and that makes it easier to um, put the connector back in here. I'll try and give you a better look. Let's try not break my wrist doing so. So you can see, um, kind of there, the connector's just wedged in under the battery at the moment. So, just pop that edge in there, lift up this edge, and then you can pull the connector back in, like so. And then, you just need to give it a little bit of an orientation. Now, I'm just having a little bit of problems because there was a notch on the end here that seems to be a bit warped, but that's okay because I'm not going to refasten that one. So, now it's flush inside the computer again, or the laptop, and if I turn it on the side and push this button here, I should be able to see... Um, Tiny lights, yeah, too. So it's got a charge, so that battery is working. Um, the owner of this laptop, not me, um, but the owner shall remain nameless, um, unfortunately spilt water on the laptop some time ago, and the battery hadn't been working since that point in time, and um, uh, it's, well, culminated in a few issues, particularly with um, the system date and time going out of whack. Um, when it hasn't been uh, plugged into the wall for a, a period of time. So what we need to do now is um, refasten the screws. Now I've just got to. Now you won't need to do this. It's just because this battery's a little bit dodgy with its screws. Um, put the screws back in. So one goes there, and another goes there. So, the, the unfortunate thing with this battery, and I think it's just this particular one, is um, I'll show you there um, if I can. You can see that bit's all mangled. Now, that, that's how it came from the box. So, 
Uh, what I'm going to do is um, just break that off. Now, you know, whether or not you'd want to in your situation is entirely up to you, but because it is serving no particular um, support in my situation, I'm just going to break it off. There we go. Um, now, I don't normally recommend that. And I really need to get a new camera. There you go, so I've just torn that off. So that should now just sit flush. Let's take that back out. Put the connector back in. There we go. There we go. No worries. In first time. So now I can pop the screws back in. They're now sitting where they need to be. Again, with these screws, just be very careful putting them in. Don't put too much force on them. Um, and you don't want to um, put them in too tight, but just tight enough such that um, you can unscrew them at a later point in time if you need to. So that's that's about it. I'm not going to do too much more on that. Um, and there's no play in there, which is good. This friend over here. Okay, so that's probably the best I'm going to do there. And then you just need to pop the lid back on and screw it back in, um, which I will do in a moment. So that wraps up the how-to video for um, how to replace a battery in a MacBook Pro. Um, this is the uh, mid-2009 15.4-inch MacBook Pro, model number A. 1286. Um, if you found this uh, handy, uh, just make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, just leave a comment underneath. Um, and always, thanks for watching.